Damn, son, where'd you find this? We had some special guests tonight! Will Brad Ellen please stand up? The Summer Olympics! Show us one of your moves, Brad! The following message together! Ready? Go! Congratulations, Mom, for winning the gold medal! Another special guest is Rachel Carr! Rachel, stand up and wave her hand! Where is Rachel? Kids Rodeo Champion! That's all, congratulate Rachel! Rachel! Good job, Rachel! Riding a sheep! Let's all say hello to Stephen Hayes! Stephen is just an average guy of no particular distinction! Which is all the more reason to give him a little group attention. In fact, let's all tell Steven that we love him. Ready? Go! We love you, Steven! Stand up, Steven, so we know which way to direct our love. Steven, where you at, boy? Steven never stood up. Molly Key, please wave hello. Hello. Anybody can just wave. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still sitting directly behind you. It is time for some very important announcements. There is no, there is no intermissions during this performance. As our photos, videos, and luminescent and products are not allowed. Well, dang it. Dang it. I promise not to use my device. Oh, shoot, I broke. Mom. Mom. Oh my god. We have a birthday in the audience. No singing, please. Just speak it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alex. Happy birthday to you. We understand the audience member, Eve Homer. Let's all tell Annie that we are sorry about her headache. There you go. Sorry about your headache, Amy. All this yelling probably doesn't help. Let's all try to help Amy by leading her through the following exercise together. Ready, go. Close your eyes. Imagine that your headache is a big cow. Picture in your mind your headache cow grazing in a field. Concentrate, Amy. Now, kill the cow. Pretty neat. Separate your head and cow into a different cuts of meat and distribute them to stores throughout the central Florida. Okay, Amy, you should feel better now. And now our audience volunteer in the fourth row who three listen to singing the national anthem. Oh, 
Just kidding. All right, I have to stop recording. Oxytocin, the happiness hormone. Studies show that people with high levels of oxytocin are happier and healthier than people with lower levels. <laughs> Thanks to the recently patented oxytocin meter, scientists have shown that you can increase your levels of this naturally occurring hormone through activities such as human contact, pet ownership, and group bonding experiences. No 
all the goldfish is going to fall. I know, I think this is when the yeah, balls are going to fall. So. <laughs> Get ready oh. to cover your ears. Oh. oh, that is scary. Oh, oh, that is scary. Wait, there's going to be another one right behind us.
visual perception and you with eyeballs. When you look at something, the image appears upside down on your retina. The brain corrects for this by flipping the image back to normal. The images in your retina get converted into electrochemical signals which travel through the optic nerve and into the brain. There it triggers a neurological process which scientists call the hallowed schism that happens inside your prison. What? resurrected friend you good one <laughs> I'm not joking later hey hey you won't believe it someone just try to have a real conversation with me creepy hey speaking of real have you noticed that there are real people here how do they get past my free firewall you can't put a firewall in the real world that's one of the main reasons I avoid it. Let's face it, 2D and 3D culture, this doesn't make. Maybe we'll get along better if we can meet in a hybrid dimension. What do you mean? You know, a different dimension in between the 3D, 3D, 2D and the 3D. That way there'd be more common ground. 
You mean like 2.5 dimensional space? Exactly. Come on, let's just try it. Follow me. Sudden death is yes. Sudden death. Sheeples, gum hemorrhaging, nasal parasites, 18 hours of continuous rock art. Then the fifth blade. Whoa. Scaring the whisker and causing it to stick out again so the sixth blade can cut off even more. Then the seventh blade sends sonic messages what? down the follicle shaft that taunt, mock, and trash talk the root so that when the eighth blade shoots tiny arrows at the follicle, its defenses are down. Then the ninth blade gets all medieval on your whiskers at. Oh. Yeah, go on, Alex, to you. The supernova teeth whitening system makes your teeth whiter than an exploding star. Artists have used many techniques over the years to capture the essence of the human form on a canvas, but none are as direct as the human paintbrush method first pioneered by Eve Klein and now the staple of artists such as Sergei Pretensione. Here, we see Sergei using a model, first as a kind of stamp and then as a stencil, to create a biomorphic image that is ultimately less concerned with replicating the banal details of the human body and more focused on celebrating the ineffable life force that radiates from within it. God, I love the sound of my own voice. <laughs> Paintings and... Just 